Jehovah's Witnesses have been accused of failing the victims of child sex abuse after a case in Manchester where a man who was convicted of sexual assault was allowed to cross-examine his victims. The Charity Commission, which regulates the religious group, said the questioning was inappropriate and demeaning. One victim described the meeting as worse than the court case. An audio recording of the meeting has been passed to our social affairs correspondent, Michael Buchanan. This is New Moston Kingdom Hall in Manchester, where Jonathan Rose spent years as a senior member. In 2013, he was imprisoned for nine months after being convicted of the historical sexual abuse of young girls. Jehovah's Witnesses went to expel him, but Rose appealed, which led to an extraordinary gathering. A meeting was called between eight male elders, a convicted paedophile and his female victims. Over the course of an evening, the women had to recount what had happened to them, while he, Jonathan Rose, got to interrogate them. Each woman was questioned separately. One secretly recorded her grilling by Jonathan Rose. What I'm saying to you is this didn't happen. Now give me one reason, one reason please why I would have done it to you. I had no reason to touch you, we were friends. At one point, another man in the room asked the woman, if she'd egged Rose on, and no one prevented him from discussing graphic details. What was I supposed to have done to you that night? Please explain to me. Not to be perverted, was I, what, did I touch you down below? Did I touch your breasts? One victim said she didn't even know Rose was going to be at the Kingdom Hall. She went in the belief the congregation were going to apologise to her with protected identity. He kept making out I was lying. He kept saying, why did I make it up? Why would I say something like that? And at no point did I feel like he was going to admit it. So as soon as I knew he wasn't going to admit it, there was no remorse, no sorry. That's when I felt like I'd had enough. I just got to the point where I thought he genuinely believes he hasn't done anything wrong. Her mother, who supported her, was appalled by what unfolded. I felt guilty because I should have been protecting her. It shouldn't have been allowed. That meeting should not have been allowed, ever. Jehovah's Witnesses say this evening that they have robust child protection policies and put appropriate restrictions on anyone found guilty of sexual abuse. Today's report, however, said their actions in Manchester failed the women. It has to be dealt with in a way that is sensitive to the victims who have gone through this terrible or ordeal, but also in a way uh, that the public would expect this to be dealt with. And in this case, they let the victims down. Though Jonathan Rose was expelled from the Kingdom Hall, the meeting here should clearly not have happened. And the Charity Commission have wider concerns about how Jehovah's Witnesses handle sex abuse allegations and are carrying out a broader inquiry. Michael Buchanan, BBC News, Manchester.